Hey guys, it's Bethany. I'm so excited to finally bring you another tutorial. It's been way too long. This is a get ready with me video and it's on a look that I've gotten um, some requests on this very similar look. I'm using some different eyeshadows, um, but I've worn a look very similar to this, a very similar eye look in several of my videos and I've gotten some requests to do a get ready with me video. And so these are all of the products that are in my current weekly makeup basket. A lot of my finish five by fall as well as as Project 10 Pan All MAC um, products. The shadows that I'm using are from the Lorac Mega Pro. This came out last, or yeah, last winter, which is a stunning, stunning um, palette. I absolutely love it. And I used this palette, number one, because I really wanted to use it, and because when people have requested me to do a similar look to this, it was using my MAC uh, this is the Intriguing Scarlet palette, and this is in my Project Pan. And since this is a super duper limited edition uh, palette that I got many years ago, I didn't want to use this palette just because probably many of you don't have it. So I used complementary colors that are in the Lorac Pro in this tutorial. So if you wanted to get kind of that look, um, and I think it came out almost identical to what it typically looks like when I use this palette. If you've got like a warm um, brown and then some cranberry colors and like a light kind of champagne color, you're going to be good to go. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So first off, we need to prime both our face and our lips. I'm just taking this Eco Lips. I'm not a huge fan of it. I got it in an Ipsy and it's like really white casty. I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lips and then I'm going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I do really like this. And I'm just gonna spray it all down. Now with MAC Painterly Paint Pot, I'm going to prime my eyes. This is part of my Project 10 Pan All MAC products. Love this stuff. It really just cancels out everything. Now to the fun part, which is eyes, we have the Lorac Pro Mega Palette. I wanted to do a tutorial with this a long time ago. I've been jonesing to have this in my makeup weekly makeup basket because I've been missing it. So I am going to use this gorgeous palette in today's look. I mean, hello. Have you guys seen all the rumors about them coming out with a second one? I don't think it's rumors at this point. I think it's gonna really happen, so I'm totally gonna get it. This is the cream color, and I'm just going to take a, this is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm just using it to place that cream color all over the lid, all the way to the brow bone. I'm gonna take, this is a Sigma Dual Ended Brush. It has a E40 and an E55 on it. And I'm take the E40, and I'm going to put, I'm going to start off with Fawn, and then I'm going to put Camel in next. So I'm going to start with Fawn, and I'm going to put this as a transition color and a blending color all over kind of my crease area. I'm going to take that Camel color, I'm going to put this a little bit more definely in the crease, not blending it as high up as the Fawn color. but blending it, nice circle motions, just taking that same brush. It's very rare that I use a ton of brushes just because I just layer on the colors with one brush and then I don't have to worry about cleaning a ton of them. Next I'm going to take this MAC. This is the Power Chrome Eye Pencil in Rich Glance. This is part of my Project 10 Pan and I'm gonna place this on the lid. This is going to act as a kind of sticky base for my lid color. I'm going to use this dual-ended brush by Urban Decay. This was in the Urban Decay 3 palette. I'm gonna take the color Cashmere and I'm going to place that with the eyeshadow brush over top of that MAC pencil. Going back with a little bit of caramel, I'm just going to blend. With the other side of that brush, I'm going to take Merlot, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous cranberry. It's really beautiful, great for the holidays. And I'm going to place that right on the outer third. Just kind of pushing my brush right into that crease and then slowly blending it in further into the crease. And I try to kind of take my brush at a little bit of an angle. So it's covering about a 
third of that eyelid. You want to blend that out a little bit, just take your E40 and then just a little bit of that Merlot color and just wiggle your brush. I'm not getting super blended because I do want it to look kind of sharp where that outer third is. And I'm going to take a little bit of Mulberry, which is this more brighter fuchsia with that same brush that we put the Merlot on and I'm just going to lightly pop that over top because I do want that um, or low color to really stand out and this is going to give that color just a little bit more brightness that mulberry is so pretty so I'm just placing it over top and then just lightly blending it and then I'm going to take that E40 brush that has just still some of that Merlot in there and then blend it but not again we're not crazy blending because I do want these colors to be kind of standing out now let's clean up everything with your foundation. I'm going to take a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus and this Dual Ended It Cosmetics brush. I'm just spritzing just a little bit onto the brush just to make it a little bit damp for my Nearly Naked Foundation in Ivory. Uh, Kristen K was um, asking me if I knew if this foundation was discontinued. I'm not sure. Do you guys know? Because I love this foundation. I hope it's not. So I'm just taking that fluffier side of the brush and just going to place that all over the face. Blends out really nicely. Again, I've been telling you guys I've been trying a new, whoops, a new um, skincare to hopefully get my skin a little bit more on check. Oh, foundation in the hair, gotta love it. Um, and it's been helping, but I'm still breaking out quite a bit. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time and hopefully it's just needing a little bit more time to do its magic. Now taking the Time Bomb, this is by The Bomb, and that same It Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to put this concealer underneath my eyes, a little bit around where my acne spots are that um, I want a little extra coverage. And just blending that out. Outer time. This is CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is in Fair. This is in my Finish 5. And then this is the Eco Tools just powder brush. And place that all over. I'm going to warm up my face with some bronzer. This is my MAC Aphrodite Shell. And then this is the Eco Tools um, brush. And it's just a, I think it's a powder brush, but I've been using it as a just kind of all over bronzer brush. And not anything too precisely, just kind of bronzing up my face. Next I'm going to add some blush. This is a Milani baked blush. This is in Barry Amore um, and I actually got this from Paige from Thrifty Beauty. She sent this to me in our swap. Just going to lightly put this on because it is pigmented. For my highlighter I'm going to use this MSF in Light Scapade. I just added this to my weekly makeup basket and then the Coastal Sense Fan Brush in 800 and I'm just going to put that on lightly dust that over my face now let's do something with these brows this is the Tarte eyebrow brush that comes with their Amazonian clay brow mousse and then the Mac dirty blonde fluid line brow gel cream and I'm just going to comb out my brows first draw on the bottom of my brow and I draw a little bit above the brow this is the Milani, this is uh, Easy Brow, Natural Taupe, I got this again from uh, Paige in our swap. So what I typically do is I create the top of my brow with an eyebrow pencil because I don't really have much up there. This so far is super creamy, so I'm just kind of lightly creating a brow. Every day is different. We've got our good brow days and our not so good brow days. 
And I'm gonna stop playing. You get to a point where you start playing too much and then you just kind of ruin it. So, so far, first impression, I do think I like this Milani eyebrow pencil. Seems nice. And so what I do now is this Maybelline Brow Drama. This is in soft brown. My mother-in-law actually gave it to me because it wasn't working for her. And I use it as a setting gel. Um, it helps kind of make things a little bit even more natural. Um, you have to be careful though because the wand is really big and so it can get a little messy. But I kind of just use it for a setting and adding a little bit more dimension, try to make the brows look a little bit more natural. With an accent brush by Real Techniques, I'm gonna take that Merlot that we had in our outer corner and I'm just going to smudge that shadow underneath the lash line. Urban Decay Perversion in the waterline. Elf Liquid Eyeliner in black. I have missed this. I've been using a couple other products beforehand and missed my good old Elf. Just so easy. This is the um, It Cosmetics Tight Line. This is the full lash length, three in one eyeliner, primer, and mascara. I've been using this as a bottom lash line, not lash line, bottom lash mascara. And I really like it because it's so super thin. And, um, it doesn't transfer on the lid during the day. So I've just been using this as a bottom lash line. It's not super pigmented. It's fairly natural looking. But I was just so sick of all of my mascaras transferring throughout the day. I'd be at work and I'd have black all underneath my eyes. And so I was over it. So I've been using that. Um, this is the MAC Hot and Naughty Lash 2 Black uh, Mascara. And I'm just going to use the second one. So the volume one or whatever the fat brush put that on my upper lashes I love 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 this mascara I'm gonna try this essence lip liner in satin mauve and I've never used it before So far, loving it, super creamy. The color is great too. And then I'm gonna try a Essence lipstick. This is in Porcelain Doll and it's number two and it's just a really nice light nude. Again, new product. Ooh, really creamy. So far, so good. Super creamy. I like that little color combination too. So this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I loved making it for you and I'm excited to bring more tutorials for you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions on like which palettes you want me to use, if you know that I have it already or um, just give me a suggestion and I'll let you know if I have that palette or different products that you'd like me to kind of feature in my weekly makeup baskets and then doing a get ready with me with those. Uh, definitely let me know. I have done several uh, tutorials with my Pan That palette, which is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4. I have done several tutorials with that, so if you want to check those out, I'll, I'll um, kind of link them down below. I really love this look. I think it's an everyday look for me. I think it's not too smoky where it wouldn't be like work appropriate or daytime appropriate. I think you could really make this a nice nighttime look by adding maybe some gorgeous uh, glitter on top or a really dark vampy lip I think would look so so pretty with this look. So you could definitely make it more um, intense if you want but I think that this is a really nice just everyday look for the fall and winter. Don't forget to subscribe that would mean the world to me and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!